Next up, I'd like to talk about an even larger screen. And that is your TV. <laughs> TV. TV plays a huge role in our lives. And it occupies an important place in our homes where we gather and enjoy it together. There's more great content being created today for TV than ever before. It really is the golden age of television. But as important as TV is, the TV experience itself hasn't changed that much in decades. In fact, the television experience has been virtually standing still while innovation has been thriving in the mobile space led by iPhone and iPad. Today, we are going to do something about that. And it starts with a vision, and our vision for TV is simple and perhaps a little provocative. We believe the future of television is apps. In fact, this transition has already begun. We're spending more and more time on our computers and mobile devices, enjoying great TV content through apps such as iTunes and Netflix and Hulu. Over 60% of the pay TV streaming video is consumed on an Apple device, and all of this is consumed through an app. And when you experience TV in this way through an app, you realize just how much better it can be. Now, you can search for what you want, you can watch it when and where you want. And you can interact with it in incredibly powerful new ways. To deliver on this vision, we need a new foundation for TV, one that's built on powerful hardware, that runs a modern operating system, that provides a new user experience that's fun and easy to use that has powerful tools and APIs so developers can create apps that are amazing just like in the mobile space. And of course, that has an app store so that customers can easily find those apps and personalize their TV experience so it's better than ever before. We know this is what it takes. And we've been working really hard and really long <laughs> to bring all of these together. Today, I'm thrilled to show you the new Apple TV. See, show me something new. Family movies. Animated only. Just the new ones. Comedies with Jason Bateman. The Jason Bourne movies. Anything with Jason Schwartzman. Spit out the gun, sister. In fact, everybody. This is the new Apple TV. And we believe it is the future of television. To tell you all about it, I'd like to invite my colleague up, Eddie Q. Eddie? Hey. 
Thanks. Thanks, Tim. The new Apple TV starts with a powerful set-top box and a revolutionary remote. It's got an incredible new user interface. It's built on a modern OS. With an iPhone, you interact directly on the screen. And we wanted to bring the same connected experience to your television, even though it's across the room. And to do that, it starts with voice and with touch. The new remote, sorry. The new remote has a glass touch surface across the top that makes it both fluid and precise to move around. We have a great touch experience, and you can easily glide across a set of movies, and when you see one you like, you just stop, and it's right there. Now, sometimes it's better to interact with your television using your voice. And the Siri remote does exactly that. You hold down the Siri button, and you ask for something. Show me funny TV shows. Siri gives you a list of comedies. <laughs> sorted by popularity. And it comes out layered right on top, so you don't lose your place. And when you see a show you like, you tap, and you get all of the details. Seasons, episodes, and all of the screens have been redesigned. They look beautiful, and they focus on the content. Now today, when you're looking for a particular TV show or movie, you have to search and open each and every app to see which one has it. Well, with Siri, it'll search across multiple content apps and give you all your viewing options on a single screen. It's really cool, and Siri will search iTunes, Netflix, Hulu, HBO, and Showtime. And we'll be adding even more over time. Now, to give you a closer look at the new Apple TV, I'd like to invite up Jen Foles from the Apple TV team to give you a demo. I'm really excited to be the very first one to show you the new Apple TV, starting off with our gorgeous new screensavers. It looks like a photo, right? But do you see the cars moving? Let's look at another one. This is all high def video that we've shot exclusively for Apple TV. Each slow motion shot reveals the scene in a way that is truly captivating. We've included some stunning locations from around the world, and Apple TV will automatically play just the day or night shots, depending on your time of day. OK, now let's dive in by pressing the home button. So here I am on the home screen. I have access to movies and TV shows on iTunes. One of the great new things on Apple TV is the App Store. Of course, I have access to my photos, and we've added Apple Music. Now, Eddie talked about the fantastic new ways to interact with Apple TV. And with touch, I can just swipe across my apps. I can swipe up to top movies and notice the 3D effect on the artwork as I move around. It's easy to swipe one by one or a quick swipe to go all the way across. It's fast and fluid. The movie poster follows the movement of my thumb on the remote. Really makes it come to life. Now, the other great way to interact with Apple TV is with my voice. And with Siri, it's easy to find exactly what I want to watch. Like when my favorite actor makes a guest appearance in a TV show. Show that Modern Family episode with Edward Norton. Siri takes me right to the Modern Family page with the episode I was looking for already selected. I just clicked apply. Makes sense. Now, touch also makes it really easy to move through the show. I just click and swipe. Let's see if we can find Edward Norton's cameo. Oh, I 
I think I saw him. Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, come on, man. She's not your sister. Give her a proper snow. <laughs> <laughs> I can use Siri during playback as well. Skip ahead seven minutes. The year was 1991. And America for those times when I just missed what was said, what did she say? Siri will skip back 15 seconds and temporarily turn on the caption. So cool. Okay, back on the home screen. Siri's also really great in helping me find something to watch, even when I'm not sure what it is. Show me some action movies. Okay, this looks good. I really like Skyfall. How about a Bond film? The James Bond ones. Mm, I'm in the mood for a classic. Just the ones with Sean Connery. With Siri? Cool. With Siri, I can easily filter my search based on cast, director, date, even age rating. Speaking of which, my niece is coming to visit and I don't even know where to start, so let's see what Siri suggests. What are some new movies that are good to watch with kids? All right, great. Um, Paddington looks good. When I click on the movie, I'm taken to this beautiful full screen view. It has all of the important details right up front, including where the movie's available from. Let's play it. This looks great. Now touch also lets us eliminate many buttons and menus. I can just rest my thumb on the remote to see where I am in the movie and swipe down to get quick access to info and other settings. Just swipe up when I'm done. I can ask Siri information about the movie too. Who stars in this? Siri will answer on the bottom of the screen to avoid disrupting what I'm watching. It's great for getting in the moment info like sports scores. How did the San Francisco Giants do yesterday? <laughs> I can also ask about the weather. What's the weather like in Juneau, Alaska? Okay, looks pretty good, but if I want more details, I can just swipe up. Siri will automatically pause the movie in the background and give me more information about the weather. And we've taken the beautiful animations from iOS and adapted them for the TV, so they're going to look stunning. It's super easy to switch between apps on Apple TV. Open music. I'm taken right to Apple Music, and let's browse for you. This playlist looks really good. So you probably wouldn't have guessed it, but I'm actually quite a metalhead, and this is one of my favorite bands. All right, just a click of the home button, and I'm back on the home screen. That was just a quick glimpse at the new Apple TV. Thanks. Thanks, Jen. That was incredible. Uh, the new Apple TV is so much fun to use. Now, you also have access to all of the great content on the existing Apple TV, but we've redesigned all of our apps. iTunes Movies, iTunes TV, and we've even brought Apple Music to the big screen with over 30 million songs. Playlists and albums recommended just for you. Listen to the latest releases. Play curated radio stations, including the critically acclaimed Beats One. And of course, access to your full music library, all from the comfort of your couch. But as we've said, the future of TV is apps. Now, apps have changed what we expect from and do on our iPhones and iPads. And we think it's going to do the same thing for television. We're introducing a brand new operating system for your Apple TV called TVOS. It's based on iOS and built for the living room. 
And developers are going to love it because it's really easy to create apps. They use familiar tools like Xcode, and they have access to great iOS technologies like Metal, Game Center, UIKit, and CloudKit. And with over 11 million developers, we can't wait to see what apps they bring to the big screen. Now, we've given some developers early access, and I'd like to show you some of the cool new apps that they're working on. Great custom experiences from content apps like Netflix. Beautiful imagery and a great UI from HBO. Primetime television shows from Hulu. Incredible games like Galaxy on Fire, Raymond Adventures, and even games that have only been available on consoles, like the new Disney Star Wars game called Disney Infinity, one of my personal favorites. Activision is bringing the new Guitar Hero to Apple TV. Shadowmatic. This is an imaginative puzzle game that's been a huge hit on iOS. We've got engaging apps for kids, like Play Kids. Zova, a fitness app that works with your Apple Watch. Madefire, a whole new way to enjoy your comic books. And you can even sit your whole family around the TV and plan your next vacation with Airbnb. And when you're looking for a new home, Zillow. Now, I'd like to give you some live demos of a few new apps. And first up, I'd like to invite up Andy Sum from Hipster Whale. Thanks, Eddie. Crossy Road is an endless arcade hopper that's been downloaded over 40 million times on iOS. Three months ago, we received an Apple Design Award. And there's a small indie studio from Melbourne, we're thrilled to be able to bring our game to the living room. We're super excited to be here today to show all of you for the first time just how much fun it is to play Crossy Road on the new Apple TV. The new remote allows natural controls as Tom swipes to hop left and right and clicks to jump forward. This gives you the precision to dodge cars, leap across logs, and even hop past fast moving trains. Go Tom, go. <laughs> <laughs> or not. We've still included all the hilarious characters you know and love, like Chicken, Mallard, Emo Goose, and Giddy Goat. But every day, we hear stories of players laughing together with Crossy Road. So today, exclusively on the new Apple TV, we're announcing multiplayer. <laughs> now, you can truly play Crossy Road with family and friends. I'll join Tom now, playing as my favorite character, the Mallard. Thanks. We've created a simple and easy way for anyone with an iPhone or iPad to jump right into the action in this new multiplayer mode. <laughs> Cooperative play allows the best Crossy Road players to help out those who are new to the game. Thanks, Tom. As long as one of you is still hopping along, the team will continue to rack up points. <laughs> now, cooperative play is a lot of fun, but we've all got a competitive side. And this is where Crossy Road on the new Apple TV really shines. <laughs> Come on, mate. It's just so much fun to push and block your friends. <laughs> so whether you're playing the classic single player, cooperatively or competitively, we really think you're going to love Crossy Road in your living room and it will be available when the new Apple TV is out. Thank you. Thanks. It's great to see a classic iOS game now on your Apple TV. Now I'd like to turn to a whole brand new game, and I'd like to invite up John Carter from Harmonix. Thanks, Eddie. 
Thanks, Eddie. Good morning. With Rock Band, Harmonix brought music games to living rooms around the world. Now, Apple TV has allowed us to mix music with another passion the whole family can share. With me is Mike Fitzgerald, and on behalf of the team, we are thrilled to introduce Beat Sports, a collection of games for the whole family designed specifically and exclusively for Apple TV. All right, this guy here is Throbot. Watch how Mike hits his rhythmic pitches by actually swinging the remote. The better his timing, the higher his score. Harmonix games let everyone interact with music, regardless of your musical background. And the new remote makes that interaction more intuitive than it's ever been. Beat Sports combines the joy of hitting balls with the joy of hitting notes. It's simple to get the hang of with a beautifully animated cast of creatures that will keep you smiling, even as we ramp up the difficulty. Now, Mike swings to hit, but also taps on the touch surface to move our hero, Lil Slugger, left and right. Beat Sports will make you fall in love with the new remote. You'll swing, swipe, tap, and click to help Lil dominate her alien adversaries. All right, now this here is Big Bouse. His rhythms tend to get really tricky, so let's see if Mike can take the heat. All right, so far so good. Keep up that streak, Mike. All right, this looks serious. Ha-ha! Take that, big bouse, and the crowd goes wild. So that looked like a pretty solid showing to me, but let's see how Mike's performance actually rates. A gold medal. Have you played this before? As we all know, music games are the most fun when you play with friends. So we've made sure to include support for up to four simultaneous players. As long as you have an iPhone or an iPod Touch, you'll be able to drop right in and join the fun. We can't wait to share Beat Sports with you on day one, only on Apple TV. Thank you. Thanks. Now that looks like a lot of fun. But what about shopping on your couch? For that, I'd like to invite up Michelle Peluso from Guilt. Guilt is the go-to destination for stylish shoppers around the world. Every day, we give our more than 9 million members insider access to top fashion deals at up to 70% off. And Apple customers love Guilt. 80% of our mobile sales come from iOS devices, which is a huge testament to Apple and the amazing platform they've created. Now, fashion is visual and it's social, which is why we're so excited to bring guilt to your living room on the new Apple TV. Let's take a look. My family and I have a wedding to go to, and all of us need to be outfitted. And now, with the new Apple TV, we can do that together from the comfort of our own home. Let's start with my husband, Mark, because even he likes to shop if it means we don't have to spend the weekend at the mall. This new season, new style sale looks promising. As we select to see more detail, look how seamless it is to swipe across these stylish options. For the first time and exclusive to the new Apple TV experience, you can have your own virtual fashion show right from home. Now, Mark and I love this John Barbados sport coat. So as we selected to see more detail, not only is it a great price off retail, but look at these images. We can take full advantage of Gilt's high resolution photography and show the silhouette of the jacket, how you might want to style it, and most of all, the detail, including this cool leather trim around the cuff with a zigzag stitching. Mark and I quickly decide to buy, and with a simple buy now, the jacket is his. Now, while I'm off daydreaming about how fabulous Mark is going to look, our daughter, Auden Grace, rightly prompts to see what she can wear to the wedding. Let's check out the fall festive party dress sale. Again, gorgeous, lifelike imagery. Auden and her brother, Cole, think this pink Kate Spade dress would be perfect for her. 
And now with the new Apple TV remote, we can click play and preview the details without having to go to the product page. Auden loves the cool rhinestones and I love the fact that it's clean lines and an adorable Peter Pan collar. And once again, with a simple buy now, Mark and Auden are all set for the wedding. Apple's innovation has always been great for guilt, helping us make shopping cooler, faster, and more exciting. And we believe the new Apple TV will make fashion from home even more compelling. We can't wait for you to experience guilt from your living room on the new Apple TV. Thank you and happy shopping. Thanks. Clearly, that's going to be a big hit in my house. <laughs> Next, I'd like to show you something that's really going to change the way you watch television. And for that, I'd like to bring up Chad Evans from Major League Baseball. Thank you. We're incredibly excited to be here today to share our vision for how Apple TV can enhance the way fans experience live sports. This is my favorite part of the baseball season. It's the pennant races and teams are battling it out to see who will make the postseason. And we think Apple TV is a fantastic way to follow all the action. So imagine it's the last day of the regular season. When you first open at bat, we'll show you the full MLB TV schedule with all the live games right up front. And if you only want to watch the best plays, you can simply swipe right for highlights. So it looks like the Mets have a really big matchup against the Nationals. So let's watch that game now. As you can see, the picture is absolutely stunning you're getting full HD video. And because of the power of Apple TV, we can now, for the first time, stream at an amazing 60 frames a second. But if you're a baseball fan, you really want stats. So with one click of your Apple TV remote, we can pull up a ton of live data synced to the TV broadcast. We can show you player stats and pitch tracking, the box score, highlights, and scores of all the other games. And with one click, you can go right back to full screen. So let's say you're watching the Mets, but over in the AL East, the Blue Jays are also trying to clinch the division title. Well, MLB TV can send you a look in notification so you never miss a moment. And the best part is when you open the notification, we can take you straight to split screen. So you can watch both games at the same time. All you have to do is swipe back and forth to change your focus. And of course, it's really easy to zoom in to watch the big play. So that's MLB.com at bat for Apple TV. And by the way, if you're a hockey fan, we'll be launching NHL Game Center Live for Apple TV in 2016. Thank you. Thanks. That really shows you the power of Apple TV. You take a linear video, just a baseball game, and now you make it interactive, you get access to stats, you get notifications, you can switch games, you can watch multiple games at the same time, it's really, really great. And you'll be able to get all of these apps and more right on the App Store, right on your Apple TV. And the App Store is just as easy to use as it is on the iPhone. You've got top charts, views by categories, and beautiful product pages that show you screenshots and one tap to download. Now for developers, they can create universal apps. So a single purchase gives you the app on your iPhone, your iPad, and your Apple TV. And for games, you start playing a game on your iPhone, you get home and you start right where you left off, right on your television. It's really cool. Now that's apps. Let's take a look at the powerful hardware that makes this happen. This is the fastest Apple TV we've ever done. It's got a 64-bit A chip. It's got all the latest wireless technologies and it's just 10 millimeters taller. On the back, You've got power, HDMI, and Ethernet. And of course, it comes with the new Siri remote. Now, it communicates via Bluetooth, so there's no need to point the remote at the Apple TV box. It'll even control. I like that, too. It'll even control your TV's volume. So there's, this is the only remote you need. It'll even turn the TV on or your AV receiver on and switch the inputs via CEC. It's got a built-in accelerometer and gyroscope, and it lasts for a full three months on a single charge with typical use. And when you need to recharge it, there's a lightning connector right on the bottom. <laughs> uh, 
Apple TV comes in two models, 32 gigabytes of flash storage for 149, 64 gigabytes for 199, and it joins the existing Apple TV at $69. Now in addition, we are really thrilled to announce that tvOS is available for developers today. And it's great because they, st they can start creating apps right now and they'll even have access to all of the new hardware today. Customers will be able to get the new Apple TV starting in October and it'll be available in over 80 countries and 100 countries by the end of the year. And that is the new Apple TV, the foundation for the future of television. Touch, Siri, great content and incredible apps. We think you're really gonna love it. Thank you and I'd like to turn it back to Tim. Thank you.